right, what's up, guys? How you doing? Trying to hire me just to set up your equipment to each venue? Souter, no, that's not how this works. We don't hire fans, man. You don't want to do that. We hire people that do, that are not fans. Souter has nothing to do with you. It's just the fact that you're you're a fan first. We can't hire fans knowingly hire fans. So that's a liability. You could kill me in my sleep. Or I could hit you with a mic stand. Imagine hiring a fan for a show and the whole show is fucked up. <laughs> I'm like screaming, I'm what are you doing? You suck! You fucking ruin the show. Stephanie, Lena, anyone in particular you plan on reacting to? <laughs> They're on the fucking screen right now, man. With a name. What does that look like to you right on the screen? I know, I know what you mean. Like other people. Um, no, I'm just gonna go down the list. Go down the thing I see. Huh? Yeah, Wes keeps having a recurring night or a recurring dream on the bus where either me or Christian yank his bus curtain open and show him the our phone saying, "Wes, wake up! Kevin Hart died!" And then he wakes up. It's so bizarre. It was crazy. Anyways, let's watch this video. That's something that is very concerning for every content creator out there cancel culture Ooh. falling in reverse just released a new single that i'm told presents a graphic and poignant view of cancel culture so of course i'm very excited to hear it and especially eager to hear ronnie's jaw-dropping vocals let's get to it well, that's not loud enough talk about the initial impressions of this so far. Uh, first one is I love the production quality of it. The <laughs> even the way that it took us in a storyline format already from outside and we had this speaker piping in the music and then brought us inside the building. Um, you can tell that there's a really well thought out story in the music video in addition to the lyrics of the song. Uh, I always feel surprised, even though I've heard Ronnie's voice before, I feel surprised by how intense it is. He is able to pack so much intensity into his sound. There's aggression, there's anger, and it feels like it's just dripping with message that it's trying to relate as well. Uh, and I think we'll get more into the message here in a bit. Also, I feel like it's from World War Z or, I, or a video game, <laughs> there's the nerd side of me that just goes, it, yeah, can't even speak because I'm so excited that there's zombies. Anyhow, um, we're gonna go back to the beginning. This is, this is really amazing production quality. They put so much into their music videos. Yeah. These graphics. This is a, such a ridiculous thing, but even down to this detail of this switch and the screeching sound of this intercom turning on, there's so much detail that is in the very beginning of this that I, I really adore. And that kind of thing takes a budget, that takes a team of people to bring everything together. Detail it's very impressive to me, the level of detail to already. That's such a good sound effect.
So one of the things that I've noticed and been thinking about recently about Ronnie's way of singing is specifically looking at his cutoffs. Sometimes he does a little, it's like a shadow of a cry when he cuts a word off or a phrase off. And you'll hear the voice do like just a teensy bit of a raise in this almost a shadow vowel at the end. So a sound that he makes right after the cutoff, it makes it sound even more intense. Uh, it, it makes it sound like, well, literally the sound is continuing even after he finishes the word. Pseudo, you're the it only has one. Yeah, it's your, a lot of it's your energy vote. packed behind it. I think it's one of the things that makes his voice um, cut so, so very well. The walking dead. You can hear it there. Okay, as much fun and nerdery as this is and really appeals to that gamer side of me, this is really good and deep. I got shivers as he went in there. Uh, I loved, first of all, the moment when they stopped the sound and put censored. It was very grabbing. It, uh, it made my ears essentially hit a refresh button. So they were prepared to intake an additional set of lyrics and sound. And then the words here are incredible. This idea um, of something you said 10 years ago and that they're canceling you. And uh, combined also with the cheerleaders that have these very dead kind of movements. Uh, I feel that it's, it's so, uh, it is really poignant. I was told poignant. It is very poignant that somebody can dig something up you said 10 years ago offhand to take it out of context and completely remove you from culture that's it's such a scary thing i know so many people that have dealt with it and it's really hard to say anything sometimes as i'm not fucking scared of it yeah right the creator and not wonder Fuck if that. oh no what if i stepped in the wrong thing what if i said something the wrong way uh, I wow, I don't know. It hit me. It hit me hard. We're gonna go back. I want to catch the moment when there was that pause because right from there I started getting goosebumps. I'm really digging extra moments where they take the instruments out. Uh, you hear just a few layers of Ronnie's vocals in there. You hear that coming back and forth. Uh, same idea as when it's censored, when they pulled all the sound down and that hits a refresh button on the ears and you go. I heard that in Hypnotized. I heard it, I think, right before Zombified dun, dun, dun. as well. Um, again, really drawing attention to those words or that moment. And uh, and then I think it just creates a renewal of appreciation for the massive sound overall that's being poured forth by the whole band. That's cool. Shut your mouth and bite 
short tongue Cause you don't wanna piss off anyone We're traumatized by the damage done Welcome to America <laughs> Well, well, that's a strong statement. Um, I loved the, <laughs> so... in the background, he did sort of a higher slide at one point. I, I like the way that even though it's really, really good, it's not totally forefront. It feels like it's creeping up on you. I thought that was really cool production overall. Loving the production on his voice too. I wonder what they do to produce it, right? Is there... I'm kind of curious if there's some extra drive behind it. I know I definitely hear doubles quite often, but he also is really good at putting different layerings in of his voice. So behind many of these things, I'll hear extra harmonies that are happening there. They don't always seem to be going. It seems like he's picked very specific moments to add that. That part is just a, a single vocal with a massive delay on it and reverb. That's all that is, literally. And I... I dig the amount of vocal intricacy that I hear um, that is in in just designing that overall idea of how are we going to drive it with a melody at this point or how are we going to harmonize it? How soft do we want those harmonies to be? So I'd be really curious to take a look at what that production chain is. Uh, Ronnie, if you're watching this, I know you watch a lot of these. Um, if you ever feel like sharing a production chain and logic or pro tools or whatever, I so would love, love, love to see that because you sound super awesome and the production is super clean. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna go back just a little Thank bit you. and keep going. Sweet. We're traumatized by the damage done. Welcome to America. Definitely that FPS side of me is like, yeah, cool, um, ultimate. Anyhow, um, there's, oh, that's right. I know Ronnie also streams a lot of video games on, on Twitch and it's really, really fun to see. Anyhow, if you guys don't know that he streams on Twitch, you should probably go check him out there. Um, it's He's a, a big time gamer and I definitely see that side coming out in this story, which is kind of cool. Uh, talking about the production again, a lot of times his main lead vocal is gonna be center and there's actually a really cool um, spread or stereo imaging that's essentially happening of some of the, the harmonies where I can hear them very wide to the sides quite often. And it's fascinating. I like the immersion of it and that it sounds almost like you've got a Ronnie chorus singing along sometimes. Uh, I want to go back a little bit because there's so much happening visually and in the music. It's so hard to digest all at once. So I'm I'm super super curious when he is singing into a microphone if he moves that much as well um, if that is uh, or if that's something that he does more in music videos sometimes moving that much will disturb the sound as it's going into the microphone essentially but it looks like he's still being very intentional about singing into um, the main pickup point there. And he's kind of bouncing back at that point too. I really dig the uh, extra emotion in his hands and face and everything. When you're in a recording booth, if you have tons of expression in your body, that's gonna come out into your sound. Right. You can He's hear right. it in Ronnie's 100%. sound. 100%, that's why my voice passionate. has so much character. You can hear that the sound is driven. 
Um, a lot you can, when I sing I can hear, studio. I don't know if you guys hear this too, but I can hear that that is a healthy sound that is being produced as well. It sounds like the vocal folds, they're going wacka, wacka, wacka in a really clean way. They're like, they're coming together nicely. And then there's some distortion on top, essentially. So I haven't heard any sort of um, degradation in Ronnie's sound over time. I think he's doing this aggressive sound very well in a very healthy way. <clears throat> and I, just going back to this idea of different movements while you're recording, they're very helpful to do to get your whole body involved with the sound and make sure that you're getting as much messaging and emotion into that recorded moment as possible. Back one more time, I know we're gonna see this zombie die again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was a microphone stand. It's a microphone stand. Microphone stand spear. <laughs> Go back here, sorry about that. It's very matrix. Like, they put so much into their production. They even have a fan. There's a fan that is blowing air on Ronnie's hair, and I saw it on somebody else's hair as well. They have a fan that is making more glamorous shots, just to remind you how glorious everybody's hair is in this band. Fan. It's good production. Whoa. The, the shift in music here is awesome. It feels like we got some dubstep mixed in. Um, the distortion just ratcheted up really, really high. It makes me cringe and feel joyful exuberance at the same time. So She's really very in touch with her emotions. I love that. Uh, I want to go back. I don't think I've heard that level of sound in a falling in reverse song before i think this i believe this is a new direction it feels so um so crunchy which uh especially in context with everything is a little disturbing as well um the spaceships are really cool it feels very um technologically advanced at the same time it feels like um, yeah, something you would see in a sci-fi film. So that makes a lot of sense with this direction of uh, music video production as well. And the really, really cool spaceships that just came in. I really, really dig this particular section and the way that it ratcheted everything up to the next level. Ugh. Lots of dissonance. love the intensity of this it's rap screaming <laughs> essentially he's sustaining these words as if they were a single pitch but instead rising in pitch throughout i love the the grit that he's put on top right that distortion he's put on top of his sound is really really impressive and the way he starts to open up at the end and it sounds almost like almost polyphonic and that scream at the end. It's very, very cool. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
nerd reference? Back it up! That almost sounds like the uh, hacking up a hairball moment in Down with the Sickness from Disturbed. Uh, <laughs> if you guys watch that video, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it's, it sounds a little bit like hacking a hairball up, but very, very violently and probably a very healthy vocal way. Oh, it's creepy too. So this moment where he sings this beautiful line right here, that's one of the reasons that I know that Ronnie's voice is still in great, great shape. He's able to sing a perfectly clean line without any distortion in it. Tells me he hasn't frayed his chords and it has an almost angelic uh, presence in it. That's partly, they have a cool plug on it as well, I think, that's help it, helping it sound even fluffier. It sounds really pretty, though. I love the air there. <laughs> yep. She's like, a, I'm gonna go back. Health, you guys know me. This is, a good this is too good. It's like, I really like that. That was really funny that she laughed like that. Um, She's like, I <laughs> dig the harmonies in this chorus one more time. Listen to them. I think you've got an octave double at one point, but they're subtle, but that presence of them, it just pumps up the sound and it makes me feel like I've got a Ronnie chorus going on, which is super awesome. Almost as awesome as this huge, huge beast that just emerged. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nerd side is very, very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if the monster burped after swallowing the car, and if so, with all of that lightning, did it come out as like a zappy fire burp? Because that would be really, really cool. But all cool things aside, an awesome. Thank you very much, Charismatic. Nice. That was a good one. Let's try this one now. What's going on, everybody? Straight up looks like a Call of Duty Zombies map. No. I want to lead back into this chorus. Was that? That is. That's fucking Luke Holland. Did I miss something? When did Luke Holland join this band? He could just be a session player for the video. I'm gonna have to dig into that. Um, I assume most people that are familiar with Falling in Reverse and this scene of music know who Luke Holland is, but extraordinary drummer. He's been in a couple bands, but he's very well known on YouTube and for being a session player for a ton of people, man. I am a 
massive fan of the work that he's done with like Jason Richardson and stuff like that. Killer drummer, man. Very we'll break good. into his gear later. I'm just really surprised to see him on this. Uh, I'm going to back up a little more. Dude, the audio production in this already, fantastic, dude. And these guys are masters of blending in like current sounds into rock music. It's great, man. We've heard like 808 drum beats going on and like the synth that's going on in the background is a perfect touch. The tones on everything. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Let's just keep going. Dude, what a f***ing chorus. Bro, this is making me feel like the fucking biggest band in the world right now. It's just crazy. This f***ing video looks incredible. I'd be willing to bet with Falling in Reverse's track record recently, this is a... Sighthouse music video, uh, Phoenix Vaughn. Actually, more specifically, it's probably the duo of Phoenix Vaughn and uh, Jensen Noen. I believe that's how to pronounce his name. The only thing I know about him is stuff that I've read and his name said to me by other people. So if I just said his name wrong, somebody please correct me. I've tried to look for interviews online and I couldn't find any. But Jensen Noen is a huge, huge director and filmmaker. Not only does he do music videos, he does films and like commercials and stuff for TV. Um, he's done the last few Falling in Reverse videos that we've seen. And then Phoenix Vaughn is the producer, I would assume on this. Let's just go down and look. I'm like, the ice talking a lot of stuff. So out there and then in he Emmys and nominations, then like most artists will ever have like in their lifetime. Jensen like, is it's, the man, Tyler is the man. Loving the lyrical context in this too. By the damage done. Welcome to America. This pre-chorus is awesome. Yes. Dude, was he wearing a f Roddy Radke shirt? Again, we're going to go back. We're going to start this whole part over because I want to knock out gear and stuff because that's normally my thing on here. And then I want to just enjoy this. Already, I'm loving this transition from the performance part of the video into this action sequence. And already what I'm catching that I love is almost the intentional B-horror film humor behind it. Like the mic throw and the zombie for sure was wearing a Ronnie Radke shirt, which is hilarious um got it i wonder if the microphone toss is like a reference to the incident with him years ago i mean bro come on man he's this guy's so awesome he's very in, uh, intellectual insightful and he has facts and he he's just professional he'll probably one day go off to be in a television show he just he seems like one of those uh old school uh, MTV DJs member back on video DJs where they would have like fucking information. He's just, he's like a journalist and a positive one at that. It's not negative. He's not like being negative to get attention. It's fucking refreshing. I mean, dude, if they're already going with like intentional humor, I wouldn't be surprised. W drums, which is 
as Sorry, a man, drum I gotta skip the, simple. I know. Going to the base. I gotta skip the nerdy stuff, bro. We're skipping the nerdy stuff. Doesn't own Schechter or the other. I missed so much that happened. I'll go back and watch it later. Bro, I won't waste your time. Well, earlier that, when I bro. said that, such a good touch. I was talking where the music dropped out and there was those Tom hits, like the boom, boom, ta back in. I love little accents like that with like songwriting. Kaiju! Zombified. Holy f***ing f dude, what? I, I was gonna say what a video, but what a f***ing song, man! Dude, I could sit here and talk for a really long time about how um, I've left Ronnie Radke underrated for so long. Like, again, he's one of those guys that I heard Story after story about, we all know how that sh goes. Everybody's got a story about somebody, and I'm not worried about that. I'm talking about the music. It's fucking genius level creativity, honestly, in my opinion. Um, nice I can't wait Thank to hear you. some more new stuff. By the way, he's looking like a fucking beef castle lately, dude. A beef castle. I haven't heard that term ever. <laughs> beef castle, dude. I love it. That's a new one. Dude, you look like a beef castle. Tank. The tech. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. See you on the next one.